morning and God bless to you all today. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Angel Colon and I am another uh, survivor of the Pulse nightclub on June 12, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> the morning of June 12th, I woke up as they were strolling my bed into my hospital room, confused about what happened to me. In those moments, I was learning that I was shot six times, learning that I had a shattered femur, learning that it probably wasn't possible that I was going to be able to walk again. And today, I am a walking miracle, for the grace of God. In my recovery process, I had time to reflect on life. And I had time to, to really think, OK, Lord, what do you want to do with me? And I learned about forgiveness. Through forgiveness, I learned that not only did I forgive the person who did this to me, the shooter, but I forgave myself. I forgave myself for putting, putting me through the last eight years of trying to find the love that I knew I wasn't able to find out there in the world. Of only focusing on trying to find the love through drugs, through alcohol. And through that forgiveness, I learned what true love was. I learned who the only person, I learned the person who was, that was able to lift me up. That was able to have me move forward from this tragedy. And at that moment, I said to myself, I choose you, Lord. Amen. I choose you. You are the only man that I'm going to fall in love with. You are the only man that I want to be in a relationship with. It's only you, Lord. It's only you, Lord. And that's, a, that's what I want for this world to have, is to have that freedom of choice. I want the world to learn that love that I felt from my Lord. I want the world to learn the true happiness that you feel, that you wake up in the morning and you look up above and you're like, oh my God, God, I know you have my back. I know that I'm good with you. And that is the love that this world needs to hear. And that is the love that the LGBT community needs to feel. I want to tell the LGBT community that we love you. That we have nothing against you. And I was talking to Lewis and we were saying, well, we need to show the churches how to treat the LGBT community. Because that is a big mistake that has happened. And that is what has, in the past made us more further from you know the work that we needed to do with god and that is our job today is to show this world that love and that feeling that you just get every morning that you wake up knowing that you're with god and that you are good yeah. and i just want to say that i love you all with my heart and vote no for ab 2943 let's have freedom for this world that we have